Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be spending another night in the hammock camping setup. Um, I've got a really great meal planned for tonight. Uh, I do need to still buy those tent stakes to replace the ones that came with this because they suck. But I haven't done that yet, so we're just going to use the ones that I came with. Hopefully stay nice and tight. There is a little bit of rain in the forecast, but I figure I'll stay dry under this. I do have to adjust it just a little bit more. I don't want to be sleeping almost on the ground like I was last time. Um, besides that, like I said, I've got a great meal planned. Uh, and hopefully it's another good night. I'm going to gather some firewood and get everything ready before dark. And I'll see y'all when it's time to cook. Alright guys, so for dinner tonight, this is what we're having. We're having stuffed scallops. Um, they look really, really good. There are six of them in here. We're going to cook them directly over the fire on that grate. Hopefully they turn out okay. I've never done this before. I have no clue how long they take to cook. Um, so I'm just going to cook them until they're done, kind of like you get them at a Chinese restaurant or any other restaurant. And hopefully they turn out all right. I was going to make tacos, but decided that this is the way I wanted to go. Uh, and I'm not going to lie about like, making tacos. I have the stuff to make a couple of different kinds of tacos. I've got this meat, and then I've got some sausage that I was going to make tacos with. Uh, here's our beer selection for tonight. We have Goose Island IPA. Um, I've had one of these today. I've never had one before. It's pretty good. Uh, I really do like IPAs. And the other one is this Two-Hearted Ale American IPA. This is the one I'm currently drinking. Uh, as you can see, I've had two of them because there were six of these. So I've had two of these and one of these. And I like this one a whole lot better than this one. So it's obviously why I'm on my second one of these and I've only drank one of those. But we're going to get these scallops put on the grate and see how it turns out. So we've got them on the grill. Um, they are frozen. They come frozen. So I kind of had to move them back into their shells. Uh, as you can see there, there's some. It doesn't look the same color as what's on top. That's because it had fallen off in the package, so I just added it to one of them. Um, so we're going to sit here. We're going to let these cook till they get nice and warm. There's another chunk I found in the package I added back to the top of the shell. These are really, really stuffed really well. And I think I only paid about $4 for all of these at my local grocery store. So we're going to cook these nice and slow, kind of a charbroiled, grilled, stuffed scallop. And we'll see how it goes. They look really good and they smell really good. So hopefully they turn out really well. Got the shelter all lit up. Over there, it did rain earlier, just a little bit. Uh, we did have a little bit of rain in the forecast. And I went over there and checked my gear and all of it was dry. So that's good. The tarp's doing exactly what it's supposed to. Readjusting it so it was all under the tarp also helped. So. I'm going to sit here and we're going to wait on dinner and I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys. So unlike the other night when it was in the 30s for a low, tonight it's in the 50s. And I'm kind of going back and forth between wearing my jacket and not wearing my jacket. It all kind of depends on what I'm doing. Um, like if I'm up around the fire, continuing to cook or whatever, I have to have it off because it's too warm. Or if the wind's blowing just right and it's blowing the heat from the fire on me, it gets too warm or just whatever but this temperature is perfect i have a feeling i'm gonna sleep like a rock tonight the scallops are still cooking i gotta i have no clue how to judge when they're done maybe when they're hot uh i really don't know it's a new one on me they sure do look good over there cooking but who knows um Oh, also, I did finally figure out why my truck kept leaking coolant in my floorboard. And why I kept running through coolant after just having a new heater core and stuff put in last year. Turns out that one of the heater hoses is split um, up towards where it connects to the truck. So I'm going to have to put some new heater hoses on it. 
and I figure I'll go ahead and put two new radiator, radiator hoses on it and some fresh coolant because since I've owned it for the last three years I've not done any of that don't know when it was last done I did bust one of those heater hoses at the end where it connects to the motor when I tried to flush my heater core a couple of years ago and all I did was cut it off and put it back on um but now it's leaking up at the firewall. It took me, I mean, I've been looking for this leak for a while. And I finally found it. So, or I finally took the, I guess I finally took the time to continue to look for it. And saw just the slightest drip coming out of the hose and felt the foam where it goes, it connects to the metal pipe and goes into the truck. I felt it and it was soaking wet. And I could see that little drip coming from the hose. So that tells me that it's leaking right there. So that's to solve that issue. <laughs> that should solve that issue. I burned my tongue last night on that deer brought comb combination um, that I made in the last video. This video is being shot the night after that one. So it's a drastic change in temperature by 20 degrees in one night. But yeah, I'm going to keep cooking. I'm going to keep enjoying beers. I'm actually currently watching YouTube videos uh, sitting out here watching ace videos uh his catching cooks because i do have a fishing trip coming up next week uh down at grenada lake we're going to be fishing the spillway so hopefully that goes good and y'all get to see those videos i love doing this this is how i would spend every day of my life traveling the country fishing and camping and cooking that's that's what i want to do so hopefully you guys get on board you subscribe and i'm able to do that if not it'll only be what i can get time off work or vacation and soon i want to start traveling to different states fishing different states camping in different states hitting all the national parks all of that so hopefully this all works out love you guys i'll see y'all in a few all right so there they are i added some hot sauce to them these are three of them the other three are on the edge of the pit there just stay warm they seem to be hot all the way through, so I assume they're done. They look a little burnt, actually, so hopefully they're not. Like I said, I've never cooked them before. I have no clue how to cook them. Hopefully they're good. Again, enjoying a two-hearted L American IPA. So I'm going to eat this. Again, nobody wants to watch anybody eat. I'm going to eat these, see how they are, and I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, so I just finished eating those stuffed scallops. They were fantastic. They were actually really, really good. I'll definitely do that again for four bucks a piece. It's not an issue. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to enjoy my fire. Uh, I'm going to hang out for the night. I'm probably going to watch a movie on my phone. Probably thinking Escanada in the Moonlight. It's supposed to be a pretty good one. It's supposed to be pretty funny. Then I'm going to crawl inside the shelter and go to sleep. That's pretty much how the night's going to go. I'll see y'all in the morning. Thank y'all for watching this far. Finish out the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. The more likes and subscribes I get, the more videos I can do and continue to do. The more it shows YouTube that y'all like it. The more people's pages I get on. And once this becomes profitable, this will be my full-time job. I swear it. I swear we're going to travel the country camping fishing hunting all that good stuff just as soon as soon as i can i love y'all y'all have a good night oh good morning guys i really have got to go buy some more instant coffee because this whole getting up in the morning thing with no coffee sucks um last night was a fantastic night after adjusting the shelter setting the hammock up higher um it just turned out way better and i can chill in it a little better you can actually kind of more sit in it without my butt hitting the ground I do not like this. So the first night I did this, I thought, you know, the tent stakes were the worst part about it. And they are bad. Those tent stakes are absolutely horrible. They pull up all the time. It rained last night. Then the wind picked up and it lifted one of them out. Um, they just do not want to stay in the ground. So that's something I have to replace or upgrade. But for a $30 hammock tent or hammock with a tarp, it's doing really good. Um, it did rain last night, like I said, and I stayed completely dry. The other downside, I don't like the straps. The straps have only two loops, one on each end. 
So you can run it through and run it out to somewhere else, but it's, if you need any adjustment up or down, you have to keep wrapping it around itself or keep wrapping it around the tree. And that's fine if you have a little tree like I do on this end, you can just keep wrapping around the tree till you get it where you want. But if you have a big tree like I do at this end, you have to wrap it around itself. So you have to loop it around the tree, pull it out, and then start looping it around itself, which is fine. But you have to loop it, sit in it, see how far it tightens up. Loop it some more, sit in it, or loosen it. It all kind of just depends. So those straps with the multiple loops for adjustment, I think I'm going to get some of those. I think that would be better. Besides that, you know, it it did everything it was supposed to do. I stayed completely dry. I slept good. I did not know hammocks were this comfortable. And in the future, I am probably going to stick with hammocks. Uh, I like them way better than a tent. The other good side about this is, like I said, it came with this tarp. You could do some adjustments with that and make it where I currently have it as kind of like the shape of the hammock. It goes over, you have a ridge, and it drops on each side. If you took one of those out and put it on a pole, you would have like a little open canopy area to get under if you needed to. Would this thing hold up in a major storm? Um, upgrading those tent stakes, probably. You'd, uh, and running a ridge line. I did not run a ridge line because I did not find it necessary for the amount of wind and rain we had. Had I had a ridge line, would that piece have come out of the ground? Yes, it still would have come out. Uh, those tent stakes are just, they're terrible. So. And I'm thinking I'm going to start cooking breakfast out here. Um, every now and again. Just to add something different to the videos. I do not want to go back to society right now. I uh, really just want to stay in my hammock shelter and say, screw off to the world. If I could get in my truck right now and say, head to Colorado, to the mountains, or Utah to the desert, or Arizona to the desert, it'd be fantastic. Go out there camp have a good time shoot videos for you guys try some local food i have so many things planned for this channel as soon as the subscribers get there and we're able to get out and go do that stuff i'm going i'm gone i will be on the road 24 7 pretty much um because that's, that's what i want to do i want to travel and fish and camp and try local cuisine and all of that with you guys so hopefully one of these days we get to do that but for now it is what it is i'll stick with camping out here uh at our undisclosed location and maybe a few other places when weather permits i want to do a kayaking video um, next week, I think I'm doing catfishing at the spillway. Stuff like that. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Y'all remember, stay frosty.